In this tutorial video, we will see how to configure our G code after we have designed and created our toolpath. In this project, we have already done all the work. We've designed the port that we want the machine and we also define the toolpath so it's all ready to go. The only thing that is left to do is to export the G code for CNC late. But before we export the G code for CNC late, we will be configuring the G code. So we go to the configuration panel and we go to the first item which is the language. Obviously we can set the language that we want and the unit. In this case we are working in SI which is metric. Now for the G code option we, are, we have decided to issue the feed rate. We can also invert the X and Y. And obviously since we're dealing with a CNC late, the X is the Z. The X of route card is the Z of the CNC late. And the Y of route card is the X of the CNC late. But we can invert this axis if we want to. If not, as we see it, the X, everything that is in X will be issuing a Z command for the CNC late and everything in Y will be issuing a X command for the CNC late. Also, we can decide or not to issue the G1, G61 pad blending. We can select the type of uh, G code that we have, either G00 or G0 type command. In this case, we have decided to issue a G code um, line number and also we issue the feed rate on the same G code block, which is quite standard. Now, these tolerances are simply used if we would be exporting some type of parabola and things like that. But in this case, since we don't have any parabola, we only have um, arc and line, uh, it's, this is more at the design stage, these settings are used and not for the G-code exporting. Same thing over here, this is the canvas color, this is a design that is used. Now for the quick setting, we will not be using the quick setting in this case because we want to show how we can set everything manually, but it is possible to select some type of quick setting that will basically configure the G-code for us. We can select Mac 3, we can select to have step on the XYZ, we can select the type of material, so on and so forth. But in this case, as I said, we will be doing the configuration ourselves just to see how this is done. Now, the next setting is the work area, which is as is. We are not going to touch it. Also, another thing is the round tool diameter. The round tool diameter is simply a setting that uh, in our case, we really have a straight tool, but if you do have a round tool diameter, uh, you can set that to the value of the round tool diameter that you have and, the, and apply it only to the last uh, profile to be routed. So when you, you go show route, it will basically show uh, the routing of that tool uh, the diameter. Otherwise, you keep it at straight tool. We have straight tool, so we're going to keep that there. But normally, this setting, you do it before you design the port not, and not after. Now, what I really want to show here is the uh, rapid cut. This, Those two settings are quite important because we can select uh, the zero to be where we want. For example, in our case, when we started this project, we put a point the very first thing to be routed was a point and this is we made it so that it is the zero zero of the machine of the CNC late. Since this is what we have, we have select that the machine ohm is the zero zero. Z equals zero, Y equals zero is the machine ohm and this is the first route location which is that point that we made over here. And But we don't have to do it this way. We could have also selected the route CAD XY location, which in this case, the 0, 0 of the machine will have been the 0, 0 of the route CAD access. But we don't want to do that um, simply because most of the time when we are machining a port, 
the we would like the tool tip to be the zero zero it makes it makes it much easier for us to work but we we can put that zero zero anywhere on the port we can put it over here over there anywhere you anywhere we want we just happen to put it over there in this case but it we can decide to put it anywhere we want so this was for the zero zero also now the spindle speed in this case we have select a spindle speed of 10,000 rpm we have to be careful with this value because uh, if we put a value too high some CNC late will not be capable of uh, achieving such a high spindle rate uh, there are many type of uh, CNC late some of them are not capable uh, the small spindle, the small sense are not capable of going above a few thousand RPM on the spindle. Uh, some are, ca are capable of going much higher. So you got to check out um, carefully how you set that speed. Now you will go to the rapid move rate. The rapid move rate is the rate of motion that will be used when you are not actually machining a, um, uh, we're not uh, uh, actually following a tool path. Is this when you're returning or when you're going to a tool path? This is going to be the fast rate. And in this case, we put it at 90 centimeter per minute. Per minute. We got to be careful with that because some CNC late are not capable of going to very high speed. And if we set this speed too late, it will be basically missing step and it's not going to work properly. So we got to be careful on how we set up the rapid move rate. Now the cutting move rate is simply the rate that will be used when we're actually cutting in the material and it's usually uh, quite slower than the machine rate. So when we have done all of this setting we just click on apply and we don't have to save it. We could save it if we plan to use this stat this type of selling later but we can just apply it and then that will be good enough then we close this window now we are ready to export the G code for CNC late and we just go to machine and export G code for CNC late 